Jeez, Nicholas Nick better know. Right, what about with Tiny Core? And you're saying, what? what's that? Well, this is an installed Tiny Core using the GUI installer. And I've shown you what I've done here. I've had a load of stuff. Parole, Inkscape, Light, Gimpy, Dropbox, Clementine for audio. Chromium. So I'm going to open Chromium up. I'm just going to show you a couple of things. Well, I'll make that a bit bigger for you, by the way, while I'm here. Don't make it too small, do we? So I'll go to my old tabs I had. And this is the Tiny Core site. This is what I've got, 3.7, and I've got to installation, and click down. These are the things I've shown, shown you in the last video, okay? Now, you can go through these, but some of you may not be, you know, very happy about doing it and think you're going to muck your computer up. Well, so I thought I'd go through it with you. And basically, what I'm going to do is install Tiny Core in VirtualBox for you and show you how to do it via the Tiny Core in GUI installer. So we're going to quickly, in a second, go here to my VirtualBox. We're going to open it up. Now I'm running tiny core or multi core here. Now multi core, I want the TCI. Okay, TCI with the install stuff. If you've got uh, Windows, you want TCG, but I'm going to use TCI. You can also do multi core here as well, but it also micro core, should I say? But TCI is the one for me. We're booting from the disk or the virtual disk. Okay, this is not installed yet. This is running entirely from the disk in real time. I've not cut this bit of the video whatsoever, so this is how it looks. Now you're saying, well, why isn't it full screen? Well, you don't actually get full screen to start with, but I'll show you as we go along. So anyway, we're in the tiny core, look, the usual, you know how it looks like. It's okay, isn't it? Exit, terminal, apps audit, editor, your panel, we'll come back to that, apps for installing your apps, run, drive matter, and tiny core install. Right, first one, click mount and mount your HDC, which is where your disk should be, whether it's in virtual machine or real machine. Next, we go to the tiny core installer. There we go, nice and easy. You can click whole install, but hey, hang on a minute. And we want tiny core, so we double click there, on the top for the forward slash, mount HDC, click on boot again, and then click on the tiny core GZ. Ah, so we're halfway there. Now, in theory, my thing should be there. But if we click there and do that, what well, I just did there, and click on HDA where it's going to go, it's our partition. Well, it's not partition. I'm not even partitioned the disk. It's going to do it all for us. Everything's being done. Now, if you want to swap file, you have to do it yourself. But hey, we'll do it this way to start with. So I'm going to choose EXT4 for my format. I'm going to go forward. Now, you can put some stuff in here if you want to, but this is just a demonstration of what you can do. So you can play with it afterwards. So there's my source. Okay, it's my disk drive. I'm going to do a frugal install. My target is HDA and it's going to be formatted to EXT3. All you do is click proceed like I just did. And wait, and wait. Right, this takes under a minute. Okay, under a minute. Well, I'm sure it takes under a minute. I'm not cutting this or nothing like that. We're just waiting until it does its stuff. If you've got an old machine, obviously, it's going to take a lot longer. So don't worry too much, but it will do it in the end. So we're just waiting. Hmm. Bit rainy here today, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. Waiting. Ah, here we go. We've got some action going on here. Got a bit of action. Applying XT Linux. Nice. We're nearly there. That is under a minute. We're nearly. Blimey, we're nearly there. Installation complete. And yeah, it is complete. You're done. That's all you need to do. Nothing else. So I'm going to come out of that because that bit's done we're installed yeah we are installed remember it's only like a small download anyway so it shouldn't take too long really should it so we're in VirtualBox still because most of you want to use VirtualBox to do it aren't you just to play with it unless you've got an old machine you want to put on and you put on the main machine but it's the same thing whatever but as you're in VirtualBox you're saying I want a full screen aren't you so I'm going to show you how to do it in a second so I'm going to click OK I'm going to wait for it to go down and run out la 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 la, done. Right, now I want to change where I'm booting from. So I'm going to System in Virtual Box, okay? And I'll change from the CD to the hard disk. And I'm going to click OK, right there. And I'm going to boot it back up again. And this time, we're running from that install system we just done a minute ago. Yeah, it's installed. No, it is really. It's really installed. This is how easy Tiny Core is, and this is why I like it so much. Some of you say, oh, I don't want the thing like that, but hey, give it a play. Just give it a go. You know, you ain't losing nothing, are you? Okay, here we are. We're back here and installed a tiny core system. Yes, we are. Nice. So, what do we do? Well, first, we want to get a full screen, don't we? So, we go to the panel, Exvesa. Choose your resolution. Now, mine's not there, so I'm going to put in N for the next lot. 
Right, mine's there at number 23. So if you put in 23, uh, number one for the USB mouse, most be using. One should be fine for everything, actually. And you're all done. Yeah, done. Now we have to reboot the machine. Click exit. As you can see, it's got a save file there, HDA1 forward slash TCE. So you know it's all going to be backed up to your hard drive. Click OK. You wait a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Dum -de -dum -dum -dum. I'm going to change it to full screen now so you see it comes to full screen. As you can see, we're still in virtual box. Yeah. I said virtual box about 10 times now, haven't I? But all I will say, the more stuff you add, the slower booting gets for the moment. But Tiny Core is not really meant for a fully installed modern machine. It's, it's a tiny machine to do what you want to do with. So here we go, look, we're full screen, we're ready to rock and roll, do whatever you like. Super bleeding duper. Wasn't that easy and simple? Yeah. So you can actually do it in virtual box and watch the video at the same time, which I think is rather super duper. Anyway, so if you can get some apps, you can click on the app browser, you go up there, you click connect, you just install to your heart's desire. Now do remember, if you want to put a swap file in, partition your disk first. All right, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, nothing else. We'll go back to the panel just quickly one more time and show you some system stats. You can see there's no big home files yet because I've not installed anything. There's the memory usage, not a lot. Modules, hardly anything in there at all. Processes, not a lot. Nothing there really be interested in. Mounts, file systems. Now, as you can see, it's taken up, is that 82.1 meg? Well, you know what? I can live with that as long as you can. Sneaky Linux at Tiny Cool Rules. Yes, indeedy. Bye, bye. See you later. Bye bye.